It's really easy to create custom fabric pieces using ink effects with a simple application process. First tip, make sure you're using light colored objects. Your color's really gonna pop on those. And you wanna use something that's made out of mostly synthetic fibers. If you're going to use something that has a high cotton content, you wanna use our ink effects base coat. This is gonna allow it to really get those colors and grab onto it and allow this to dry for 45 minutes before you start. After ironing your image, if you find that you have some lines like this, where you thought, like I did, that you could keep the iron on the piece of paper, well, don't fret. Don't toss your garment. We can fix it. Your work is not in vain. You can easily take another coloring book page, or you can freehand it, and you can add something like we've done here, because this garment in particular, we had this exact same occurrence, and we went back and added a little bit of seaweed, so not all is lost. When using ink effects and doing lettering, you want to make sure that you're using a mirror image because if you iron it down and you're able to read it when you iron it down, it's going to be backwards. So we have a name here like we used on this bag, Hannah. I know. Hannah is very similar either way, just the ends are different. But you can tell that here the ends are backwards and when we put it down on our bag and ironed it, you can now read it appropriately. So just remember to always do a mirror image. Mm -hmm. 